To better support the continuous professional development of teachers, based on the Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers, the Department of Education, through the Bureau of Human Resource and Organizational Development, seeks to establish baseline data on teachers' proficiency level on the first 12 indicators of the PPST. Hence, the Department of Education needs to establish an effective mechanism for collection, consolidation, and analysis of the RPMS data to obtain such data. To facilitate the collection and consolidation of IPCRF data of teachers across governance levels, the electronic IPCRF form was developed. Before using the IPCRF file. 1. The IPCRF works best in MS Office 2010 or newer. 2. Each teacher shall have one IPCRF collection file. The IPCRF may be produced into a number of copies after encoding in the following fields in Part 1 of the Encoding tab, which includes the region, division, district or municipality, school ID, school name, school type, school size and curricular classification. Edit the name of each file to include the name of the teacher. 3. Do not type in fields with drop-down button. Download the prescribed electronic IPCRF file from the link and use appropriate device and program. Steps in accomplishing the electronic IPCRF Number 1. Extract the IPCRF file from the zipped folder and save it on the desktop. Take note, do not double-click the zipped folder to open it. Right-click and then extract folder to desktop. Click OK. Number 2. Double-click on the Department of Education prescribed IPCRF Parts 1 to 4, School Year 2019-2020 file to open it. Steps in accomplishing and submitting the IPCRF data collection file. Personnel involved. In Steps 1 to 4 will be the rater. While Steps 5 to 9 will be the teacher rate T. Step 1. Open the IPCRF file and enable macros. Click Enable Editing and Enable Content. Note that the process of enabling macros may differ in different versions of MS Excel. Step 2. In the Encoding tab, accomplish Part 1 starting with the fields for teacher, division, and school information. Read the instructions carefully. Enter the needed information by either typing it in the empty cells, or by clicking the drop-down arrow, and selecting the demographic information applicable to you. It is recommended to start with the division and school information first, rightmost data column. The date of review, if not yet determined, may be left unfilled for the meantime. Step 3. Continue accomplishing Part 1 appropriate to your position in the encoding tab. Encode the COT rating per observation period by doing the following steps. Select the subject, or the discipline related to your subject, for COT. Input the COT rating per objective. Encode date of observation. Click lock COT button once finished. Provide a single password for COT 1 to 4 to protect your data. Take note, if in case there are less than 4 COT rating sheets available, leave the entire COT column unfilled. No need to lock the COT column. Step 4. Finish accomplishing Part 1 of the Encoding tab. Encode all other IPCRF numerical ratings for Q, E, and T. Input name and position of approving authority. When COT and QET ratings are encoded and checked to its accuracy, click Finalize Part 1. Provide the same password when prompted. Click Go, then click OK in the dialog box that will appear. Give the file copy to the teacher concerned, who then accomplishes Part 2 in the Encoding tab and his slash her development plan in the Part 4 sheet of the file. Step 5. Answer the Core Behavioral Competencies, Part 2, of the Encoding tab. Tick the box of the behavioral indicators that you demonstrated during the performance cycle. Click Finalize Part 2 when you are done to save your data. Supply a password to further protect your data. Click OK. Step 6. View IPCRF Parts 1 to 3 Sheets. After Step 5, 
The results of all encoding done in the encoding tab appear in parts 1 to 3 sheets. Check on all contents of these sheets. These sheets are protected from any editing. Step 7. Update your development plan in the part 4 sheet. This sheet is not protected for any editing. You may add rows, if necessary. Click Finalize Part 4 if done. Supply the same password as the one used to finalize Part 2 of the encoding tab. Click Go, then OK. Step 8. Print Parts 1 to 4. Click Print Parts 1 to 4. The teacher must ensure that his or her computer is connected to the printer using the file and print options in MS Excel. He or she must print all the pages of this form, complete all required signatures, and submit to the personnel division of the school to be attached to his or her 201 personnel file. Step 9. Submit the soft copy of the IPCRF electronic form to your rater or school head for the school-wide consolidation. Take note. Use the following format in naming the file.